today we have many issues in cities, and I know that even though you came from uh, from countryside, mm -hmm. you you've been involved in building cities on a big scale and on a small mm -hmm. scale as well. So we've got a number of issues, and uh, why is it important now to approach um, design from multi-sensory uh, point of view? And what do you think that would help people to engage with surroundings and connect? Well, urban planning and design is almost a disaster nowadays, and it has been that way for a long time. It is so sad to realize that the modern era has hardly produced one piece of street which could compete with the traditional you know, closed block uh, streetscape. Simply, uh, planners and architects nowadays tend to make things too difficult, too complicated. And the traditional uh, urban uh, situation is very simple. A street is a street. It shouldn't be, you know, going all the places. Mm -hmm. Buildings should be simple, not do all kinds of gymnastics. Mm -hmm. And then the worst thing is that uh, cities have become business. They are not architecture anymore, they are scenes of business. Mm -hmm. And uh, most construction is very, very um, uh, egoistic in the sense that every uh, business wants to be seen and every architect wants his product or her product to be seen. In the old days, uh, a building was anonymous. Uh, but respected certain uh, uh, traditions and certain you know, learned wisdoms of construction. I think we really have to go back to to study history. Why are historical places so important, uh, so unpleasant? One aspect also which is completely lost in, in uh, contemporary urbanity is the sense of time. We go to old cities, uh, medieval towns for instance, to sense time, mainly that's the reason. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, in today's cities and today's buildings, everything is just now, now. Uh, we need to um, dwell in time as much as we need to dwell in space. Thank you. So finally, what would be your message to the architects and designers out there? To be more humble and to be more civilized. I uh, do not like the idea that architecture is a profession. No, architecture is a way of life. And before you can do architecture properly, you need to have experienced life. And one a way of learning life is reading good books. I always tell my students around the world, don't ever go to bed without at least four good books next to your head on the uh, night table. You don't even have to read them. <laughs> books are magical objects. They radiate wisdom. It becomes impossible to teach art or architecture unless students have a basic knowledge mm -hmm. and understanding. University is not a place to distribute information. University is to teach wisdom, and wisdom is reconnecting things that you already know. Thank you very much, Professor. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That was amazing. <laughs> I'm so much wiser now. <laughs>